Hey, hey, welcome. Today's part one of our impact with the power of video series. What I want to talk to you about today is actually thinking about video more so than just like, you know, clicking the go live button or that record button, but really using it strategically in a way that elevates you as a personal brand so that your visionary leadership really stands out in a way that people are like, oh man, I need to work with her or him. I'm going to share with you a few things that these are really like foundational steps that really we need to practice and to hone in on in order to make video actually work for us. All right. So if you are brand new, say hello. Do not be shy. We haven't met before. My name's Gina Tassinelli. I'm also the owner and founder of Hype Media, stylishly branded and style rebel mama. And we work with high level experts, just like yourself, visionary leaders to help you to show up on social media in a way that's irresistible to premium clients so that they see you as their go-to solution. And we do this with one of our anchor pieces of content video. Okay. So it's really what I have built my entire business around for the last 15 years. It's how I make more connections every single day. It's how people find me. It's how people get to know who I am. They get to trust me and like me and eventually want to work with us because of me showing up on video. So this is something that anything that I share as far as video, it's really walking the talk. I'm walking through my own journey, my own experience. And luckily you can fast track those results because I'm not going to teach you the mistakes, right? Because there's a lot of mistakes out there. I did a lot of trial and error. So if you are somebody that you're not patient enough to wait for this workshop to come along, here's what I want you to do. I want you to say the word secret down below and I will share with you in a personal message the secret to shortcutting this so that you can fast track your results on social media showing up as the leader that you are and magnetize ideal clients. All right, let's start with the first part of this. It's really understanding that using video is transformative for your business. So it's grasping that concept. Okay. It's not really a matter of, hmm, should I show up on video or not? If you are someone who is actively seeking to use social media as a driving tool, as a vehicle to help you with your marketing leads and sales. Okay. If that's not you, then this doesn't matter to you. But if you are someone who really wants to stop wasting time on social media, if you want to stand out because there is a lot of clutter, that's a fact. And if you want to get found as the go-to solution for your ideal clients, it's not really a matter of, should I show up on video? It's I need to show up on video. And how can I do it in a way that number one, doesn't waste my time, doesn't waste my audience's time, but also gets me results. Okay. So you want to think of video as a way to bridge the this gap between you over here and your audience over here, because what it's allowing you to do is to really connect with people in a much more deeper way than just written text can do on a post. They get to hear your voice, see your personality, right? Maybe see things fall on top of you. Like I've had my ring light in front of me fall on top of me before and it happens, but it's okay because that's just real life. You can start to bridge that gap between you and your audience is to really understand understand the core messages that you want to convey in your video. And by the way, what I'm sharing with you is not just for video, it's also for any content. So if you get crickets on your content, we need to do a little bit of tweaking most likely because you're just not hitting that core message that's resonant with your ideal clients. I want you to think of what your mission is. Think about your why. Think about client success stories. Think about insights from your own experience. Think about frequently asked questions that your ideal clients, that your leads, your prospects give you. Think about objections. And you want to focus on those different things. If you make a list of all those things, you're going to have probably a good, honestly, if you do one video per week, you're going to have a few good months of video topics. Those are the types of things that you want to talk about in your videos. So that's the kind of message that you want to share. And then just hit that go live button. Now we do have our power formula for showing up on video. Okay. There is a science in how you say what you say and when you say it for your audience to convert into people that start to engage with you, you start conversations with. So I'm not going to jump into that outline today because that's going to be something that we're going to use inside of the workshop. But here's what I will tell you. Do not start by introducing yourself because nobody cares. 
not to be rude, but people want to know what is in it for them first, right? So when you start your videos, start with, have you ever felt like blank or, oh my gosh, did you hear about blank, right? So we want to start with something that's going to be enticing. It's going to spark that curiosity to let people stay tuned in for the next first five seconds. The first three to five seconds of a video are, if not the most crucial part, like one of the most crucial parts of the video, because that's going to determine if they are going to stick around longer than, you know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and so on. Number two is establish yourself as a personal brand. Like it's no more about, I don't know why people would want to hear my message or why people would want to watch my videos. You are an expert. You have something to provide to others. You have value. You have transformative results that you've helped people with. It's time that you embrace yourself as a personal brand. Stand out as a leader. Okay, so how do you do this? By just being yourself being genuine, being true to yourself, not holding back, being super clear in your message, your unique value statement, letting people know who it is that you help and how you help them. Okay. So like when I started this video and I said, my name, my title, I'm the founder of, and I help experts just like yourself, visionary leaders to show up on social media in a way that becomes irresistible to premium clients so that you are seen as their go-to solution. It's letting you know exactly what it is that I do and who I help, right? So I'm very clear and specific about that. And then be consistent. If we want our ideal clients and our audience to show up for us, we need to show up as well for them, right? So when you are showing up consistently with your content, whether it's video or posts a mix of different types of content that reinforces your brand's message. It does not get lost. It allows for the platforms, the algorithm to actually believe that you are important enough that you have some substance to your message because it's going to increase your engagement, especially if your content is worded correctly and it's resonant. And the more that you do this over time, the more you're going to stay in people's feeds and the more they're going to see you. So here's a quick strategy for this is I would suggest to make a content calendar for yourself for the next month, not for like this week, because now you're behind. Okay. So start planning now for April plan to have one video per week, have a specific topic for that week, do a video based off of that topic. And all of your other content around that week can also be relate back to that topic. So you keep it very streamlined. What you want to do is you want to be able to throughout the week, including with your video, you want to showcase authenticity by doing like behind the scenes, sharing personal experiences, sharing case studies, sharing your credibility explaining how you solve specific problems by sharing tips and being consistent. The third part to these foundations of using impact video is that you want to start practicing to transforming those views into an audience that's actually going to engage with you. Being consistent is going to help with that because they're seeing that you are putting time in to gain their attention and they're going to be more likely to see you. The more likely they are to see you, to see your content, to get stuck on your content and not to like keep scrolling through, the more likely they are to engage with you. You want to ask questions, even in your written text especially on video, ask questions. Was this helpful? Do you have any questions? Feel free to come back and ask questions if you're watching this on the replay, right? So you want to have questions throughout and then use these as interactions so that you can then do personal reach outs to people and send them a personal thank you. Say, hey, I just wanted it personally. Thank you so much for watching my video. What was a game changing tip that you got out of it? Or what was an aha moment that you got from it? Okay, last one. Number four is You want to set the stage for unparalleled impact. What I mean by this is when you can leverage your personal brand to create this ripple effect of influence and impact, that's when you know that video is working for you, but it's got to be consistent. Doing this once a month is not going to help. Okay. You might as well just not do it at all. Honestly, unless you're like doing a video and you're putting ads on it, add dollars to it. Have a call to action so that at the end of your videos, people can comment or I like to give, say the word workshop to get on our wait list for our upcoming workshop or say the word ignite to jump on an ignite business call with me, which by the way, that's a free call or say the word checklist for, you know, this resource, but you want to leverage this interaction and the feeling that people get that you are a human, you are humanizing your brand, right? Because you are using yourself 
You're leveraging your personal brand to create a ripple effect of influence and impact. All right. So I hope that this was helpful. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.